We just had a catastrophic failure of our autopilot 350 miles out to sea. It just broke into about 35 parts. I got all the pieces, but this is the main thing that's broken. It's the inner ring that the belt drives, and this is what turns and turns the wheel. Well, that's in two pieces, and I need to get it back into one. The problem is, the way I configure it, it's gonna end up flexing and just breaking the glue, and then it's gonna probably cut the belt again. And if it flexes and, and has a, a sharp edge, it's definitely gonna cut it. It's just broken on two of them, but there's actually another crack right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put fiberglass on the outside, on the top, and on the back. That's one side. I'm just gonna make it fit together perfectly. And the way this is working, we got one on this side and one on the other side. We're just adjusting the tension until it's about right. And then we can use the sail, plural, the sails, to kind of fine tune it. Uh, the main will turn the boat to windward and the jib will turn the boat away. They're gonna hold the course straight and then the wind as it gusts is gonna push the, wind, the boat over. The rudders are gonna turn and the bungee gourd's gonna get tight and pull it, pull it the other way. So the boat's gonna constantly do like an S pattern. And then we're gonna use the sails once the bungee cords are set to kind of control the direction of the boat instead of using the rudders and the steering wheel. It's different for every boat. I've tried this before on my other boat and because it was a full keel monohull, it, it worked really well. This one is gonna be a little more touchy. Uh, I don't know, ever think it's gonna be perfect, but we're just check, I have to check it every five minutes or so, but it's better than sitting here hand steering. not had this discussion yet of at what point do we turn back I don't want to turn back I'm fairly confident that I can repair this now this is the problem we have 1800 miles to go we're 400 miles offshore our bungee cup cord setup is working really well and I'm fairly confident that this old piece of plastic this plastic ring if I just reinforce the three places where it's being held it's gonna be fine. I gotta wait for them to dry. So it's gonna be probably a 24 to 36 hour fix, which means tonight, all night long, we're gonna to have to hand steer, regardless That's, of whether we turn We can do that, yeah. No, that, I mean, while you try to fix it, we, we're gonna keep on going, that's what I say. Okay. I mean, hand steering for 36 hours or whatever it's gonna be, it's gonna suck, but, with the bungee cords, you know, you can still read a book and kind of just keep an eye on it. But if this fails, we turn around. If you can't repair this, then I don't think this is a way to go. Of course. Okay, good. Well, in that case, we're good now. Yeah. But I am pretty impressed with our emergency autopilot so far. It's been holding the, the course at 215 pretty exactly the whole time. So we're not lost yet. Could be holding us a little bit, like 15 degrees farther uh, west, but I'm not gonna complain. It's doing good. We're at 210, 215, and we should be at 225, 230. The good thing about this boat is it doesn't tack by itself real well. So it's better that it's a little tight on the windward side. That way it's pulling us towards the wind and it's never really gonna go through it. Then we go this way and we jive and we fuck it up. So this is my workbench right now. This is our nav station that we put in in place of our fridge. So I've got, this one is already done and dry. Inside here is a track for the balls, so I'm gonna have to clean that up. And on the outside of this thing is the, is the track for the belt. So I'm gonna have to clean that up really well. What I'm hoping is I can clamp it, I can 
have it so it's completely dry, so probably tomorrow. And hopefully it works. Uh, we survived yet another night. So that makes it the fifth day that we're underway. We've gone like 500 miles. We were really, really going this night. The waves are still pretty small, so the motion is absolutely okay to make some breakfast. This morning we actually got woken up by, by the bungee cord snapping that we put on there yesterday. It held us on course perfectly while the, the epoxy and the autopilot was drying that James is preparing. Oh, right here. Okay. Snap right through. And, you know, there's several spots here. So we just started the water maker because we just ran out of water. Oh, I love having a water maker. I just take a shower, wash my hair, and I use the rest of the water. So we're gonna make 15 gallons of water Yay. on batteries. Uh, I've been working on my project from yesterday. This is the autopilot. I've got it. I reinforced it in three places. I didn't. It's not very pretty, but it's gonna be good when I get it all sanded. And we've been um, all night long going about eight knots with bungee cords tied to the steering wheel. It's kind of going in like a big ass, but better than not going. miles out probably 250 300 miles offshore and there's a freaking punga out here de donde eres ecuador 300 miles de ecuador okay está bueno What are you doing? Making pizza. We don't have an oven, so we have to make stovetop pizza, which is, I think, damn near perfected. Flour and water. A little bit of salt, a little bit of Italian seasoning, and oh, some yeast. that you gotta watch out for when you're sailing, when you're passage making, you gotta watch out for storms. And everybody, and that's like the number one question everybody asks us, what about storms, what about storms? Well, you keep an eye out and hopefully you catch it. And if you do, you reef down, you lower your sail area. So right now we've got two reefs on the jib because that's how many reefs we have total and three reefs on the main. So we just lowered our sail area by like 75%. And we're going into this big wall of storm on a beam reach with double reef and triple reef. I'd say we're pretty set up for, for success. It doesn't look really, really mean. Like some storms you can just tell are just, they're gonna be nasty, but it definitely, uh, 
Definitely is a storm, come and check it out. Okay, so here's the final product. I shaved this race down or um, used some sandpaper on this race on the inside. So the belt's gonna ride like this. And I didn't want anything to, you know, like hit it or catch on it or something like that and rip it, break it. And I also shaved this inner race down right here because this inner race is where the ball bearings go. See, like that. So now I'm gonna put it all together. And it's been two days. And I think I did a pretty good job on this. All right, here's the moment of truth, people, right here. This is where all the mustard counts for nothing. I got it all back together, but I, it, was, it was sticky. And I figured out why. Because I have too much too much glass on the inside race, I need to take just the, the last quarter inch off of it. So that's what this is for. I'm gonna take the last quarter inch of glass off. 